Menorca, one of Spain's Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean Sea, is home to the Camille de Cavaths, an ancient path that encircles the entire island. This 185 km trail is thought to have dated back to as far as the 14th century, when it would have been used by knights on horseback to protect the island. Now, in the 21st century, I plan on hiking the entire trail in 10 days. This is my story on the Camille de Cavals. Stop for a wild way. First wild way of the trip. So I've left the port of Mahon, which is the capital of Menorca, and I'm currently trying to find the trail. So according to the map I'm using, it starts in Mahon, but I think here the actual official trail starts about three kilometers outside of Mahon, I think, but I could be wrong. There was a sign back there saying two kilometers to uh, the Camille de Caval, so that's what I'm currently looking for because I haven't seen any signposts yet, but... Woohoo! Camille de Caval! So this is what I'm doing today. So I just went for my very first swim of the trip there. It was really nice. This is just at the very start of the official off-road trail, so I'm just about to start going on that. And apparently it's another five kilometers or so until the end of this stage, so not too far to go. It's so nice! My feet are a wee bit sore already. <laughs> The sun's out, the sun is out, woohoo! about to do my first what looks like a little bit of a steep climb but I think overall it shouldn't be too steep this trail but we shall find out
just come off the trail a wee bit just to have a little break and it's just so amazing just listen So I've just passed my first 10 kilometers, woohoo, on day one. And apparently from where I left, where I'm going, it's supposed to be 10 kilometers. So I'm still not there yet. So either I've got a bit lost or the map is lying to me. 2.5 to go. I absolutely love these wee fences. <laughs> officially made it to Es Grau, so the end of the first day. So it actually ended up being a lot longer than I expected. Uh, it was supposed to only be 10 kilometers. Today was a shorter day because it's the only day that I haven't been able to find accommodation. So I'm actually getting a bus or a taxi back to where I stayed last night. And then tomorrow I'm gonna somehow get back to the same point again to continue. Uh, but the rest of the trail I found accommodation the whole way around uh, so that's why today is a bit shorter but I actually came in at 13.57 kilometers uh, and it's just after lunchtime oh it's 25 past one so I'm gonna have something to eat uh, and I'm contemplating putting my wet swimsuit back on to go into the sea because it looks very inviting but overall it went really well today um, I only took one wrong turn, which is pretty good going. Um, yeah, it was pretty well signposted as well. Once you get out of uh, Mahon, the capital, because for the first like few kilometers, you're pretty much just some roads and it's not signposted there. But I think the official trail starts about three kilometers out of the city. So once you get there, there's signposts like every 10 meters. So it's pretty impossible to get lost. So the only scary bit today was when I was walking along the trail, I came across like a big swarm of bees and wasps. Oh my goodness. Um, don't get me wrong, I love bees. I think they're great, but I don't really want to be walking through a swarm of them. <laughs> it's just been absolutely amazing. And I keep stopping every so often and just getting so excited and just smiling like a bag of chips to myself just being so happy to be out here especially after everything in recent times so really happy uh feel pretty good my feet are pretty sore to be honest my feet are still sore from the training hike a couple of weeks ago in the Morn mountains so i still have blisters from that so uh yeah i think it's going to be pretty tough on the feet this trip i was pretty much feeling it straight away uh, but overall, considering 13 and a bit kilometers, um, doing pretty good. And the weather's been really good as well. Um, it's been pretty cloudy all day. Sun's poked out a few times, but can't complain because it's pretty much perfect temperature, to be honest. So, uh, couldn't be any better. So, anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get changed into my wet bikini uh, I'm gonna go for a little swim and then I'm gonna figure out <laughs> how to get back to uh, what's it called Mahon so woohoo day one complete mm -hmm. 